right? So this troubleshooting guide is for the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, a lot of times people will say, hey, my LCD has a bunch of lines in it, my digitizer doesn't work, the touchscreen's not working, so and so. Um, it all kind of has to do with this flex cable right here. If it's not perfectly straight, if it's broken, snapped, bent, or anything like that, it can actually cause you to have a ton of lines or blocks or perhaps the touchscreen won't work. Um, and it's a long flex cable. So right in here, what I did was I, I went ahead and bent it a little bit. Don't do this to yours, obviously. And I'm showing you that it's not going to work. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and boot this up, and boom, you see all these lines. Now, if you see all these lines or your touchscreen doesn't work on your iPhone 6 Plus, that means that likely you've done exactly what I just did, and you have bent that flex cable. It's not going to work. Um, so what you want to do anytime you install the iPhone 6 Plus is obviously you want the battery disconnected. I didn't do it for these uh, demonstration purposes, but you'll take that flex cable and you'll see how I kind of bend it straight. Now you don't want to overly bend it back towards you because um, you could snap it and obviously you snap that flex cable, those little pins, it's not going to work. It's not warrantable. War warrantable. So you also want to blow out the little connectors just right where I'm pointing, blow them with your breath or uh, a can of air. And let's go ahead and plug it in now. And one thing you want to make sure is when you plug it in, it's perfectly lined up and you snap it dead center in this flex. You don't want to go right to left or left to right. If you don't feel it completely secure and snapped in from one little push in the center, then it's not going to boot up properly. All right. So as you can see right here, I'm booting it up. So far, the LCD looks good, obviously. Um, and hopefully it will be good when I test out the touchscreen as soon as it's done booting up in a moment or so. Now, obviously, I, I have the screen protector on here, so sometimes you may see the touch screen not be perfectly responsive because this isn't like the perfect screen protector, but let's go ahead and try it out. Slide down lock works. Uh, let's press cancel on that. Yes, use our little touch screen assistance right here, and you'll see that it never dropped off. <clears throat> press the home button. And let's go ahead and shut it off or disconnect the flex cable again. So the second part I want to show you is kind of where like the touch screen won't work. Okay. So everything was plugged in the first time and the LCD had blocks. Now this time I bent that flex cable a little bit, but now I'm going to go right to left. Okay. So instead of pushing in the center, I went right to left here and right. And then I'm going to push again on the left. So I didn't get that nice smooth click. And due to it, I'm probably going to have an issue with the actual touch screen of the phone once it's booted it up or once it's turned on. So I power it on and as expected the touch screen doesn't work. Okay. Um, now obviously if you move the flex cable a little bit too much you might get lines again like I just did. And really there's nothing you can do here so I'm going to even try and push the flex cable back in um, in the center and nothing is going to change it really. So what you want to do to make sure that it works now is disconnect the battery and do this every time you, uh, you uh, install a new display on your phone. Disconnect the battery and you'll notice here this flex cable actually got bent a little bit when I was plugging it left to right. And that always happens just because it is such a long flex cable. So once again you'll use the top of your thumbnail and grab the two edges and just gently kind of like bend it so it's straight. You don't want any curvature or any non like perfectly looking flex cable right there. Blow out the any dust that could have been there. And of course make sure your battery is disconnected. Okay? So now I'm gonna plug this in. Dead center, not left to right or right to left, but dead center. Make sure it's perfectly lined up before you start. And that was a nice click. Dead center. And then the second one, same thing. I'm going to make sure that it's dead center and it's a nice even click. If you don't feel even clicks on both of these, don't bother. You need to redo it because it's not going to work properly. All right. So apparently I'm having an issue on this one. So let's disconnect the battery again and let's look at the flex cable. Why is it not working? All right. So I'm going to look at this flex cable and hopefully you guys can see it here. It's slightly bent. Um, and that can happen sometimes when you're plugging it in. It just happens. N no matter what you do, it's just such a long flex cable that it can bend. So it's not that the screen is effective necessarily, it's just that it could have been installed incorrectly. 
So I'm going to try and bend it back one more time here. Same with that LCD flex cable right here. Even though it's smaller, it may not bend as easily, but you know what? I got to make sure it's straight. Push dead center once it's lined up. And then, of course, just push it down hard to secure it. Push the other flex cable. Connect your battery back in. And let's see if it works this time. Sure enough, it works this time. No problems. And once it's booted up, go ahead and test out your touch screen. Make sure it's all working. And that's pretty much how you troubleshoot the iPhone 6 Plus LCD. Please make sure to visit us at injuredgadgets.com. Get all your parts, repair tools, and troubleshooting videos on our YouTube channel. Thanks, guys.